Hi, and welcome to another edition of Mailbag. Okay, this is Mailbag, a uh, common feature of the channel. It's where I attempt to answer questions that you guys have left on the channel, or if I can't answer them, I have a good go at answering them, or I throw them out to the wider tubing community to try and answer on behalf of somebody who's raised the question. Now, we'll get into this mailbag. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. Go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. The next question comes from Jacob Ryan in response to um, ba -ba -ba -ba, how to convert the Roland S550 sound library to work with a Roland S50, a video I did in January 2021. And I think it was as cold then as it is now while I'm recording this. Um, and Jacob writes, I'm saving up for an S50 because Liam Howlett, Nick Rhodes, Al Jawson, Paul Barker, and Charlie Chaucer use, uh, using their own samplers of choice. I think use these as their sampler of choice. Um, I wish there was a way to convert synth patches like the DX7 and even the D50 patches to the S50. Is there a way to achieve this or would it require me to sample the synth patches on every key? Um, you wouldn't need to sample them on every key. So that's not how you do it. Um, but you do need to make several samples up and down the keyboard because it assume, when you do a sample, it assumes um, a certain characteristics as the, I can't remember what the exact terminology is now off the top of my head, but there's certain characteristics that are assumed and you need to reset it every so often up the keyboard. Um, but in short, to answer your question, the answer is no, there is no way of converting patches to a sampler like the S50, the only way you're going to have to, you can do this is effectively by sampling the synth that you want to sample. Um, now, if you can get hold of that synth and you can borrow it and you can sample it, great. Um, otherwise, it should be very interesting. Um, one of the reasons why you can't sample, a, sample or you can't convert the patches for a DX7 to D and a D50 is because the patches themselves don't use sample data. The patches are on the DX7, it's a mathematical formula that formulates the FM um, synthesis sound. And on the, uh, the Roland D50, it is a sample with a, uh, an algorithm that runs in the background. So effectively the sample creates the, the, the front end of the sound and, and then the algorithm takes on how, how the sound is shaped. Um, now neither of those effectively can be uh, dealt with by the S50. It really is a sampler. You play the sample in, it manipulates the sample and produces that sample back when you hit the key. Um, so unfortunately the answer is no you can't. Um, if you're after some generic sounds um, from the Roland sound libraries, I've made all the Roland sound libraries available on the media replacement service and there will be a link below this video for you to go and find them. The next question struck comment comes from David Allred. Um, and this is in response to my TRS-8 has load gain with MX-1. RM, R8M is a match for the TR707 and 505. Video I did in August 2020. And David writes, um, I have the same issue going straight into Ableton over USB, which is how I got to see this video, got to this video if you see uh, if I could find a solution. I need to use uh, utility gain in Ableton and put it to plus 20 dB just to get normal volume. I think the dB at level out uh, via USB is super low on the TR8S. Uh, luckily it's a clean signal and with unity gain it sounds okay but should not need to put 20 dB of gain on this signal. Um, compared with every other synth I've got going into Ableton via USB. And um, basically I don't own a TR8S so I can't comment on the TR8S but thanks for letting me know. Um, but I did ask him how he solved this, how he solved the problem. 
And he said, I wouldn't say I've sold it, but I was hoping that there was a setting somewhere in the TRAS that would fix this and normalize the USB output level, but there doesn't seem to be a real solution. And I've heard this from a number of other people, exactly the same problem. And in fact, I've got the same problem with the Jupiter X. That doesn't have a particularly brilliant gain on it. The signal's super clean, but it doesn't have a particularly great gain when it comes in via USB. Is it possible to up the DB levels on TRAS on the kits themselves? But the issue there uh, for me is it throws the kicks out of whack for live jamming when I'm going straight into an audio signal, into an audio interface uh, and out through monitors. I like to be able to know where things sound at full master volume out because to get things sounding decent together when live jamming, I don't want to be adjusting the master volumes levels on the fly. I just want to keep at the same level and adjust all the kits to sound uh, well. So when I drop a new one in, it sounds okay. My Yamaha Modi X actually has a separate USB audio out, out, uh, output gain booster as an option that only affects USB out levels. Too bad the TR8 doesn't have that um, at the moment. Well, it doesn't have it in the current firmware, as, as I understand it. Uh, oh, well, it's a great piece of gear. Every piece of hardware that I own has some quirks, and apart from the fun for hardware is finding out all the workarounds. Um, if you get too bogged down on the limitations of hardware, you won't enjoy using them. It's at least a quirk. Uh, this is at least a quirk of the TR8S. It's an easy workaround to use gain boost in Ableton, and the only one time I'm using the USB audio out is to record it to Ableton. Um, so it's quite easy. Just make sure you group all 11 of your TR8 mono outs into a group and then put Unity Gain onto the group. Otherwise you will have additional utility uh, to each mono and that's a real pain. So, I agree, workaround is not really a solution. Um, the bottom line with Zen and ARIA instruments is they're all software driven at the end of the day. Um, now, there might be a technical limitation why USB audio is transmitted at such a low gain. I said the Jupiter uh, X does the same, but it appears to be a common issue on, on many of recent Roland instruments. Um, and I, you know, I've, I've, on the X, I've had to boost um, the signal in Ableton to get it sort of to where I need it to be. Um, and basically what I've been doing, <laughs> if I'm all if I'm honest, is taking the audio out of the Jupiter and into the Focusrite because it seems to work better. Um, but, you know, at the moment I'm not really recording, I'm just playing, so it doesn't really bother me too much. But it's an interesting issue, and I say I've seen it on quite a few uh, USB instruments that the USB is coming across at such a low level and I don't know why and there doesn't seem to be any uh, anything you can do in terms of gain 